fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for returning back here to watch my videos i appreciate you much your love your support but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will enjoy every content that i upload i can promise you this <laughs> So dear friends, as you can see, I have changed the location of where I always film from. It's because outside it's raining, it's dark, and I use the natural light. <laughs> so the other room, it's a bit dark and I want you guys to see me clearly. <laughs> so I have decided to change the location today. That's why you find me here. <laughs> so dear friends, back to our today's video our today's video is going to be very very interesting it is going to inspire you it is going to raise you up <laughs> raise your mood especially you guys who are on online dating apps searching for love searching for that right man because today's video is a story time <laughs> and you know my stories guys they are always very beautiful, very nice to listen to, and you always learn a lot from the stories that I always share. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a story of a lady from Botswana who met an Italian guy on online dating app. So it's Botswana meets Italian. <laughs> Oh, Italian meets Botswana <laughs> yes it is a very very interesting story where you are going to learn a lot I know you guys have been asking me a lot of questions when it comes to online dating and there is a time I got a question from a girl who was asking me Bella I would like to know how long does it take for a man to be serious with you how long does it take when you date till you get married if you meet a man online so guys I am assuring you in today's video you are going to be answered all your questions about online dating about meeting a guy online I'm going to be also giving you tips about online dating you know you know i never run out of online dating tips so without wasting much of your time guys let's start this lovely beautiful love story so dear friends before i share with you this beautiful love story i think it will be good if i tell you how i came to know this lady that shared with us her story her name is Janet from Botswana 27 years of age so it was last year around January where this lady sent me a DM on Instagram and she was asking me questions about the visa process cause she told me she is dating an Italian and she knew that I am married to an Italian man so she wanted to know some things about the whole Thing of the visa process and my story of how I overcame the visa challenge so we talked and after there I think she liked me and gained trust then started sharing with me everything about her relationship her struggles to meet that boyfriend that they met online and everything guys every step that they could take she could let me know whenever she could want an advice she could run to me and tell me so she was very very open to me about her situation about her relationship so i was like a sister to her but right now she calls me her therapist <laughs> yes so that is how i came to know janet from botswana so dear friends janet shared with me that she had a very bad experience in relationships before and due to that that is why she was single but whenever she could go on youtube she could see a lot of interracial couples making these videos of how we met and she could see these couples sharing that they met on online dating apps so she was like oh so people can meet online and create a family then live together she became very curious decided to join online dating apps and then try her luck 
but I'm going to be sharing with you what kind of a dating app that Janet met this Italian guy before I end this video. So stick here till the end. <laughs> so guys, Janet started her online dating journey and she tells us it wasn't an easy one. Not at all. She spent a year before meeting the one, yes. And during all that period, it was challenges after challenges, challenges after challenges. And some of the challenges, she shared them with me. And one of them, she says that one time she was chatting with a guy and then this guy told her that she should send him her dirty t-shirt so that he can smell it and see if he likes her body smell. <laughs> can you imagine guys? Some guys can be crazy. I've been telling you that online dating apps exist. Guys who are crazy exist weird people. That is why you need to be very, very careful. And another challenge she faced, she told me that most men were saying that they are not ready to have more kids. <laughs> yeah another challenge also she told me that one time she was chatting with a guy and then this guy told her that he cannot use any other means of communication apart from emailing <laughs> so they should use email as the means of communication he does not use whatsapp he does not use anything else i think i've talked of this if you watch my online dating videos the tips that i give you if you meet such kind of a man you know what to do guys he is not serious <laughs> she was clever enough to know that the guy was just a player that one who did not want to use whatsapp only emails <laughs> Yes, guys also can be very, very smart because a guy who uses an email, even if he is married, it is very, very hard for a wife to go on this guy's email and start reading the emails <laughs> if she does not have the password. But guys, you know that I've covered about that. You know what to do. So she faced a lot of challenges that one year that she was on online dating apps. And that is why, guys, I've been telling you, no matter the challenges, don't give up. Keep pushing because challenges are part of the journey. You will have to pass those challenges before you find the right one. So Janet, too, passed a lot of challenges before she found the one. And while she was on online dating apps, among of the guys that sent her messages, there was this Italian guy that was chatting with her, but it's not that they were lovers or the guy was interested in having a relationship with her. Not at all. The guy was just chatting with her cause he just liked her as a friend and the guy was chatting with another lady that was almost a girlfriend to this guy. So they could chat once in a while, but just greetings, nothing more. So it was in 2017 when they started chatting with this Italian guy, but nothing was serious because they were only friends. <laughs> yes. So sometimes Janet could chat with other guys, but also these guys were not that serious. So she was still in that process of finding the one. It continued like that till 2018 when this Italian guy wrote to her a message, told her that he ended his relationship with the girlfriend that they met online and he would like to start a relationship with Janet or get to know Janet to be her girlfriend. <laughs> yes, and this brings me to a tip guys if you find a guy on online dating apps and this guy shows interest and you see that he is a good guy please don't try to play hard to get because <laughs> these guys don't chat with only one lady no they chat with lots of ladies a guy can have even five ladies that he is chatting with to know if they can develop a serious Thing with that lady that is why you need to play your cards very well because these guys don't chat with only you so that was the case too 
with Janet. The guy was chatting with other ladies, but again, writing to Janet once in a while. And when he ended his relationship with the other girl that he was chatting to online, he started chatting with Janet. He started a relationship with Janet. So they started chatting seriously in 2018 and they could talk every single day. Armando, his name is Armando, became very open to Janet. He told her everything about his life and sometimes he could make sure that Janet talks to his mother. Cause you know, Italians with their mothers, <laughs> mama's boys <laughs> they really love their mothers a lot <laughs> and this reminds me last summer <laughs> when italy was playing the euro i think champions league and italy won <laughs> so when they won one of their players <laughs> an italian player as in celebrating he was like mama guarda <laughs> So he won and he is calling his mother to watch that mama, we did it. <laughs> Italian man. So Armando could make sure that Janet talks to his mother. And this is because if you're dating an Italian man, it's very important that the mother loves you too. So I think Armando was trying to bring Janet close <laughs> to his mother. <laughs> so dear friends, as the relationship became stronger, they started talking of how they are going to meet, which is very, very important. I've been telling you, if you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps, if this guy is not talking of how you guys are going to meet <laughs> and you've been chatting for so long, that guy is not serious. So don't waste your time. It's better to move on. <laughs> Leave the guy alone. And after seven months of chatting, they started talking of how they're going to meet, evaluated, and Janet was supposed to come to Italy to visit Armando. So they started preparing the documents, everything guys was ready. She applied for the tourist visa, but unfortunately when she went for a visa interview, her visa got denied. They were all devastated, very sad, and she told me that it's like her dreams were shattered that day. <laughs> yes, she cried a lot. She couldn't see, you know, the future. I can understand her, I can feel her because I went through the same. <laughs> I got denied. <laughs> I think I've told you of this, yes. <laughs> My visa got denied when I applied for the first time. So this too happened to Janet. So after that incident of Janet's visa being denied, Armando told her, don't worry, I'll be the one to come to your country. So we are going to meet the same. <laughs> Guys, you can see how this guy was determined <laughs> to be with Janet. So he started the process of going to Botswana, preparing the documents. He paid for an accommodation in Botswana, booked the tickets, everything was ready in 2020. And that is when COVID started, guys. So they had to cancel everything. Back to square one. <laughs> you can see, guys, how things can be very, very challenging. You need to be strong. I've been telling you guys, you need to be strong. To be in an interracial relationship, you really need to be strong so that you can overcome all these challenges. Because if you're not strong, I swear, <laughs> you will give up. <laughs> So they became very sad again about that situation and they didn't know when they are going to meet cause no one knew when COVID was going to end till now as we are talking, COVID is still here. <laughs> we are still living with it. So it was a very, very difficult moment for both of them. They continued their relationship, talking every day, strengthening their relationship. So guys, it was in 2021 
when Armando started planning for his trip to Botswana because the pandemic had cooled down yes and this time it was a success his trip was supposed to be in August <laughs> I knew every step because I was chatting with Janet every day she was telling me every step <laughs> even one hour before Armando landed in Botswana I received a DM from Janet telling me that she's very nervous she is shaking but excited at the same time I was very happy for her and excited too because <laughs> she was going to meet Armando for the first time in Botswana love is so beautiful guys very beautiful <laughs> So Armando's stay in Botswana was three weeks and during those three weeks it was time to know Janet's parents, it was time to prepare the documents again for Janet so that she can come to Italy too and see Armando's life, you know, real life of Armando. So Janet took Armando to meet the parents and guys it wasn't an easy one I can say there were a lot of challenges and most of all it's that the parents were a bit worried about Janet leaving Botswana and go to Italy <laughs> you know if you had never traveled or if you have never stayed far away from your parents if you tell them that you want to travel and stay that far from them of course it's just normal for parents to be worried but later they had to understand that their daughter is in love and they let her be happy <laughs> yes another challenge it was even friends some of the friends some of them were giving her very negative comments but i can tell you guys i did a very good job with this lady because whenever she could come to me telling me those negative things i could tell her do not worry just listen to your heart listen to your intuition if you know that the guy is good if you know that the guy is real he loves you truly he loves you truly you don't need to listen to other people no you need to close your ears <laughs> and listen to your heart so i did my best to make sure that this girl's worries goes away because you know when you have a lot of voices <laughs> talking to you in the end you might end up making a wrong decision so it is always good to listen to yourself and look at your relationship look at the guy you are dating and then decide so it wasn't easy guys it wasn't easy at all <laughs> it was a struggle but in the end you know if you are determined and you show other people that i am in love i want to be happy then if they really love you they respect that and support you <laughs> so that was it with janet that was the situation so if you two you are dating maybe a white man or any other man of any color and maybe it is a bit of a challenge let's say to your friends or maybe to your parents you have to be determined you have to be strong and make your choices the right way <laughs> yes you know guys you're going to ask me did Janet give the goodies those three weeks when Armando was in Botswana of course yes <laughs> she gave the goodies and the reason why she gave the goodies it's because Janet was sure that Armando is a good guy he is serious with her he wants to start his life with her that is why she gave the goodies and that is what i've been singing that before you give your goodie you need to see if the guy is serious if the guy has got good intentions with you before you give your goodies <laughs> so within that time that armando was in botswana after visiting janet's parents and getting the blessings from the parents they went to the embassy started the process of the visa and eventually guys janet got the visa and this time was under family visa yes she got six months of stay in italy so after getting the visa they decided to come back together in italy armando and janet <laughs> she was very very happy and she lived with armando for five months to see his life to see his character 
if she likes his character or not and in the end guys Armando was a good guy so they went ahead with the wedding process <laughs> it was a challenge again cause Janet did not come with that document of impediment the document of no spouse that you don't have any husband in your country that Janet did not have any husband in Botswana and sad enough here in Italy there is no embassy of Botswana the nearest embassy is in Belgium so it was a struggle guys lots of stress but I've been always you know close to this lady trying to tell her calm down everything will be fine as long as Armando loves you you love him you are going to fight all the challenges and you'll get married so in the end they got that document and they got married guys they got married after five months of staying together but the whole relationship it was almost three years and it was due to all the challenges guys that i've been telling you first time janet wanted to come to italy she got denied the visa second time armando decided to go to botswana but due to the pandemic he couldn't go and then the third time <laughs> that is when it was a success so it really took long before they stayed together but with god everything is possible and with love you can overcome everything <laughs> so guys what we learn from this story is that it's not easy at all because finding a guy online is not easy but even after finding him it's again not easy because exists a lot of challenges you guys need to be aware of this and be ready if you really want to get married to a white man or if you're interested in interracial marriages number two guys that we learn from this beautiful love story is that challenges are a must you must face challenges you guys that have been saying online dating does not work connect me to a white man if i tell you that right now i don't have a white man to connect to you you need to understand and face the challenges of online dating keep trying i know if janet found the one on online dating apps why not you your time will come just trust in god keep praying and be determined it's not easy number three don't give up guys no matter the challenges please keep searching and i am here to give you advice i am here to guide you <laughs> so don't worry <laughs> i've got your back <laughs> so guys here comes the big question which dating app did they meet they met on ok cupid yes and i have shared this okay cupid in one of my videos where i shared about online dating apps so if you didn't know about okay cupid you can download it or install it and try your luck who knows <laughs> you might tell us your story one day like janet so dear friends i really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something it has inspired you if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this beautiful love story share it with them and please comment below what you think about this video about this beautiful love story tell me i would like to know in the comment section below please watch my other videos too they are so good if you have not watched them you have got a lot of things to learn from those videos subscribe please if you have not subscribed until next time i love you so much you're always here in my heart Ciao, ciao.